So here we are at the beginning of my new series of Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. Before we even begin, let's take a look at the rules that I'll be following since they're a little bit tweaked from the usual rule set that's shown for uh, Nuzlocke's. So number one, all Pokemon have been randomized with similar rarity, except for the starter Pokemon that will have pretty much every Pokemon to pick from, from its pool. Uh, number two, all trading evolutions have now been changed to level evolutions. I don't actually know the specifics of which level, but this will avoid situations where I just can't uh, evolve. You know, I can't really trade using a, uh, an emulator. So number three, we got all caught Pokemon must be named. That's pretty standard. Number four, any KO'd Pokemon is stored forever. I don't like the idea of releasing because I just like being able to look back at what I had and, and you know, memorial memorialize my lost Pokemon, so to speak. So we'll be storing them. I can't use them, obviously. Number five, only one Pokemon can be caught per area. I might tweak this rule because I know it's normally that you can only catch the first Pokemon in each area. But right now I'm going to leave it to only catching one Pokemon per area. And I am going to attempt to catch every single one that I see in the area first. It's just if I miss early game, I don't want to lose the uh, entire series too early. So it's just for entertainment value more so than difficulty. Uh, number six, no reloading. That's pretty obvious. Um, I'll be editing this a lot so it's more viewable. So uh, I guess you guys will just have to trust me that I'm not reloading. But I, I definitely won't be. So number seven. Total KO leads to full team storing. I don't like the whole deleting your game save when you completely KO, um, but I will make sure that all uh, Pokemon that are in my team currently would be put in a box and I'll pull out whatever extras that I have, hopefully. Uh, and number eight, the final rule is the tutorial area, and this is more just the beginning area until I actually go out and start uh, playing the game is safe, right? So if I somehow die because of the randomized starter Pokemon or something like that, it's not going to count. Um, we'll wait until I get a little bit situated into the game. But without further ado, let's jump right into the game. What is going on? Here we go to the beginning of our first adventure. Emerald, of course, the randomized Nuzlocke version. I got this game sort of in my heart from childhood. I got nostalgia glasses with it, so... I figured I'd start the Nuzlocke series of games with this one. Uh, I could have gone back to Fire Red, but I didn't play it as much as Emerald growing up, just because I think the internal battery of the cartridge was broken when I had it, and so I, I don't think I could ever save. Like, the second that it powered off, I would have to restart. So, anyway, let's jump right in. We're going to go ahead and change the frame to something else. Let's put tech speed fast as well. I think I always liked this black and white sort of retro look, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Of course, Birch, everyone remembers him, the Pokemon professor. Oh, look at that. Oh man, I was just playing recently the, um, the new one, Violet. So it's, it's cool to go back to like this retro art. It's not really retro, I guess, but like this bit, you know what I mean? 8-bit uh, art or whatever. We humans live alongside, of course, to cooperate. Doesn't my boy uh, Professor Birch look like he came from like Denver or something? He looks like a, like a townie. All right. In fact, there are many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. And you are... I am a boy. And since there's not enough characters, I'm going to go ahead and just go with Light. I can't really pick Kingpin Light. Yes. All right. Moving into Little Root. Classic. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess, I guess I'm ready. I guess I'm ready. I'm really hoping that this series turns out all right and I don't die in the second, you know, before even the second gym. We're going to keep our hopes up. We got this, right, guys? And the nice moving van. I always thought it was glitching out. Here we go. So let's get off the truck. Go see our mom. I remember our mom. She just let us go wander for no reason. 
Oh, I guess I did have a mom in, in Violet as well. They don't really show her ever, I don't think. I mean, they show her in the beginning, but then I don't think she comes back. Well, this is Little Rutan. How do you like it? It has a quaint feel, but it seems like an easy place to live, don't you think? I think that it's weird that there's only one exit to this town. That's what I think. We live in a cul-de-sac town. That's what it is. I also found it weird that we got Pokemon doing labor. I never got that. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, because they're also, you know, fighting or whatever. So I guess doing manual labor is sort of a, a promotion, but... Oh man, the GameCube. Alright, I gotta set the time, right? Um... What time is it? I guess it's... I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't feel like going all the way around to... Uh, midnight, which is basically what it is. So we're just going to do noon right now. It's noon. That's fine. I'm 12 hours off. How did you like your new room? I don't know. All I've done is change the clock, bro. Give me a second. You should make sure everything's there on your desk. I mean, it's a computer and a book, mom. When the menu would start. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I, I don't know about? I forget how emulators work. Am I, I have to save not the game, but like the actual emulation file, right? Or something like that. I, I believe that's right. I'll be honest, the biggest thing I'm excited for is seeing the starter Pokemon, since like I said, they're super randomized. Uh, they can be literally anything. I forgot I had a dad in this. That's right, he's the gym leader. I remember now. So basically, nepotism. That's the only reason. See, like, every game has their explanation of why you get a starter. And I guess the explanation here is nepotism. Look at this man. What are you doing over here? I agree. How do you store Pokemon in a computer? When does he ever go somewhere that isn't a hole in the ground? That's my question. Was this, uh... Yeah, that was the lab. And this was the nerdy assistant that I thought it was the professor. This man really said, let me explain what field work is. It's going out into the field to work. I, I got it, bro. I use context clues. I, I get what you mean. I really love this game, by the way. I'm making all these jokes. I don't want you to think that it's because I think this game is campy or anything. It's like campy in a good way, though. It's like interesting. It's nice and fun. That's how it is. Plus, I, I always loved pixel art. Like, it's done so well for the technology that it, they had. Thank you, little girl. Maybe that's why we all stay in a hole in the ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought Professor Birch was out there. What am I doing? All right, give me one. I can't remember where I had to go. Because I can't go up here, right? Do I have to go back to the house or something? Or the neighbor's house, I mean. Because he's off doing field work. I think it was the neighbor's house. Yep. And then I have to talk to his wife. Upstairs. She's our rival, right? It's been a long time since I played this. I probably should have said that. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. May... Oh, this is silly. I've just met you. Ha ha ha. Well, at least she's not as battle crazy as Violet. Alright, I'm not gonna steal your Pokeball this time. They, do, they probably have a mod, right, where you can steal Pokemon. That seems pretty common. Can I go there now? Finally. Let's go see what this starter Pokemon is. I gotta help him. He's being chased. Like, how do you get chased by a Zigzagoon? Like, that I don't understand. Alright, let's see what I got. Oh man, I got Metacross, the Iron Leg Pokemon. I got Crokana, the Big Jaw Pokemon. That's actually a starter at one point, wasn't it? Or no? And Vaporeon. Oh man. 
I feel like this is probably the best choice. But you know what? We're not here trying to min-max everything. We're here to have a good time. So you know what? I'm going to choose... Actually, you know what? I'm going to choose my boy. I'm going to choose my boy. Let's go ahead and start this first battle against Sig Zagoon. Or it's Metagross. That's right. It's not Metacross. It's Metagross. My bad. My bad, guys. Damn, he starts off with, with a bunch already. What do some of these do, though? I, I, I mean, I know with Confusion, Scary Face lowers uh, defense, I believe. Maybe attack. Metal Claw is a steel move. I don't know what Takedown does, so I'm just going to Metal Claw him. Yeah, it's instant. Instant. Now, keep in mind that I think trainer Pokemon are also randomized. So, it won't be super unfair. It might be super unfair. It might be super lucky. Who knows? Yes, I did save you, Professor Birch. Birch, you owe me. I am light. All right. He's heard so much about me from my absentee father, of course. I don't know if it was that I was a good fighter, or if it was literally just that I got a Metagross in the beginning. Like, come on now. Yes, I have to give him a name. I'm just gonna call him... Hmm... I don't have a good name right now, so he's going to get... The name... <laughs> X-Boy. I'm also gonna use all caps in all my names, because... Lowercase is crazy. I just realized that everything is already lowercase. Yeah, yeah, I'll help your daughter. She had a Pokemon before me, though, so shouldn't she be teaching me? I guess I just impressed him that much with that show. I gotta go get the running shoes or something, right? No, that, that happens after I, I think I beat the first battle. Let me go talk to my mom anyway. I feel like that's what a good kid would do. Oh, she rests me, that's right. Let's take a look at some of the stats of the Pokemon we just got, actually. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. I'm using an Xbox controller, so I'm kind of forgetting some of the controls as I play. All right, let's see what my boy got. Steel Psychic, of course, prevents ability reduction with clear body. He's an adamant nature. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, that's right, you can do contest moves in this one. Oh, this hurts the user. That's what I couldn't remember. Oh, confusion hurts? I thought it was literally just a, uh, a status effect move. Oh, it reduces speed. I was way off. Man, I haven't played this in forever. Outside of Violet that I just started playing, I haven't played Pokemon in a long time, to be honest. Oh, wait, did he have a... He didn't have a held item. Okay. All right. Let's see. Well, we, I wouldn't have anything yet, so let's just go. See if they'll let me leave town. I think I can. Alright, so I don't have Pokeballs yet, right? Because I haven't done the training. I think I do training when I go into, like, Ralts or something. Or I have to go and get a Ralts or something. Let's see what the Pokemon are out here, though. This isn't going to count as my I have to catch it. Because I believe that I can't catch anything yet. I'll just double check. I can't remember if I start with anything. I do not. So let's just go ahead and just beat this guy. A little Metal Claw on him. I'll try and use the other Pokemon more if this is too over, you know, overpowered. <clears throat> At least early game. Unless I feel like I'm just going to completely lose. Oh man. I forgot about these high rates, I guess. Metapod. Come on now. I'm the one with the real Meta Claw. Metapod. So we'll get to the first town and end this first episode there. Um, and then we'll hopefully get a lot more done on the next one. This is more of an introductory video to see if I can garner some support for the series. Um, you know, some watchers here and there. I'm also going to do sort of a, 
I'm gonna try my best to figure out the best method, but in each episode I might do a like previously sort of intro and just have a quick recap of what the last episode had. That way some people can skip one or whatever else. They're not gonna have to sit there and watch from the beginning if they don't want. Uh, but at the same time I want to keep it moving. I don't want to recap too long, you know what I mean? So we'll do quick recaps. Let's go ahead and save here. We'll rest my one Pokemon. And there we go. We're off to the adventure with our Metagross or X-Boy. And we'll see what we catch next. So everyone, thanks for watching. This was a pretty quick episode, like I said, but stay tuned. I'm going to do the whole series and hopefully I will last until the Elite Four and everything else sort of end game. So yeah, guys, take care.